Hey there everyone, welcome to another video of Fox Android. So in today's video, we're gonna learn how to implement tap target prompt into your Android application, right? So first, let me show you uh, what I'm talking about, right? So if you can see on my mobile screen, so here you can see there is this button on which is written activity 2 and there is this prompt, right? So if I click on this button, I go to second activity so another prompt is there on the first button of the second activity and if I click on that button there is this prompt great and this prompt moves to the second button then to the third button fourth button and to the last this floating button right and if I click on that the sequence is finished so basically we use this feature when the user installs our application for the first time right so when the user installs the application for the first time so we want to make sure that he knows the feature about the app so we give these prompts to let him know that what all these buttons do right so what he will get when he presses this button so this is a very useful feature and you must have seen into many applications right so we're going to implement this to our android application right so without wasting any time let's get started So guys if you are new to this channel make sure to hit that subscribe button and press the bell notification icon for receiving the notification of the upcoming videos and by the end of the video if you like the video make sure to hit that thumbs up button as well. So for this prompt we need to implement a library so you must go to app level build or gradle right so here I'll just I have the library I'll just copy it where you can see I'll just copy this library and paste it here and press sync now right so okay guys the sync has been completed now we'll add another activity to our project so first we'll go to the example file of the first activity and add a button so that is it for the first activity xml now we'll go to second activity so now i'll just quickly add four buttons here right Hey guys we are done with the xml file right so now we'll just go to themes and we'll change the theme to no action bar because we do not want any action bar after that we'll go to colors and we'll add a color so okay now we'll just go to the main activity So I'll just define a button.
So now we'll refer to this button using find view by ID. Now we'll use app target view on this button, right? The first argument will be the context of this activity. Now we'll pass the button as an argument. Now this will be the target. Just string text. This will be the description. Now we'll set certain attributes. Hey guys here we have set certain attributes right all these attributes so you can play around with these attributes and then we have set the on click listener on this button and inside that we have called the second activity right so now we'll go to second activity i'll just create the reference variables for the buttons So okay guys here we want to make a sequence for the tag tap target prompt right so we want that when the user clicks on any button then the next prompt is shown in a certain sequence for that we'll use tap target sequence right we'll pass the context now we'll set the targets so here we'll pass various tap target views uh, so all the buttons will refer here where we want to set the tap target prompt right so 
so i have copied all the attributes and set it to this particular prompt on button one right So okay guys we have implemented the on click listener right on this uh, sequence so this method will be called on sequence finish when the sequence is finished and on every click this method will be called and when the user cancels the sequence this method will be called right. Okay guys we are done with the code now I'll just quickly install this app to my cell phone and check if it is working fine or not right. So okay guys the app has been installed to my cell phone as you can see on my mobile screen. So there, there is this tap target prompt on this button if I click on this button we will go to second activity. Now if we're just clicking on this buttons and we go to this floating action button the sequence is finished right. So I guess we have successfully implemented this tap target prompt to our Android application, right? And I hope you guys understood the code. In case of any doubt, you can always ask me in the comment section or you can DM me on Instagram. The Instagram username is there on your screen right now. So if you like the video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. And if you're new to this channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button and press the bell notification icon. So that is it for today's video. See you in another video. Bye.